Set A. At first glance, you notice arrows and shapes. You would first look for a relationship between the number of arrows and the number of shapes. There is no relationship. You would then look for a relationship between the number of arrows and the number of sides of the shapes. Again, there is no relationship. Look for boxes with the same number of arrows in the same direction. One shape has eight sides, the other has 11 sides. So again, no relationship of the arrow direction to the sides of the shape. However, these boxes have asymmetrical shapes. Now look at all the boxes with arrows pointing up. These boxes only have symmetrical shapes. In conclusion, set A. Arrows pointing up equals symmetrical shapes and arrows pointing downwards equals asymmetrical shapes. Set B. There are arrows and shapes in each box. It is a good idea to start by counting the number of shapes in relation to the number of arrows. There is no relationship. Count the number of segments and compare it to the number of arrows. Again, there is no relationship. Compare boxes with an odd number of segments. Do they have anything in common? These three boxes have arrows in the corners. The three boxes with even segments have arrows in the middle of the boxes. In conclusion, for set B, if there are odd number of segments in the shapes, there are arrows in the corner. When there are even number of segments in the shape, the arrows are in the middle of the box. Which set does this question fall into? The answer is set A. The arrows point up and the shape is symmetrical. It does not fall into set B as the arrows are not in the corners. For more free information, please visit www.acemedicine.com where you will find free insider guides getting into medical and dental school. These guides have been written by recent successful applicants. Thank you very much for listening and good luck.